Amazon has just released a new version of their Fire Stick 4K and it's called the Fire Stick 4K Max. Now, is this version better than the previous generation? All right, come with me as we unbox and do a review of this Fire Stick TV. But first and foremost, if this is your first time on our channel, please do uh, subscribe, like, hit the notification bell so you can get notified when we release uh, more awesome content. The Fire Stick 4K Max cost about 75 Canadian dollar, which is uh, about $30 more than the previous generation. If you get the accessories option, which includes the Mission USB cable, as well as a cover for the Fire Stick remote, then it will cost you about 117 Canadian dollar. You can pick it up right now from the Amazon's uh, store and you can get it delivered like super fast. All right, let's dive right into unboxing this um, Fire Stick 4K Max and see what's in the box. I mean, taking a look at the packaging, we can see that the packaging is very minimalistic and very simplistic as well. So uh, let's go right in. Opening up the package, we can kind of see it's got the Fire Stick remote, the uh, Fire Stick remote, the Fire Stick itself, HDMI extender. It's got the manual, a micro USB cable, and then over at the back, it's got the adapter and the uh, two triple a batteries let's take a look at the fire stick 4k max i mean on first impression we can see that it still pretty much looks like the original 4k uh, fire tv stick uh on the on this side we can see that there's a power micro usb port and the front we can see that there's actually like the direct the typical hdmi cable and um the length wise it's about 99 mm and then it's about uh 30 mm wide and 14 mm tall and uh, it weighs about 43.4 grams which means it's it's, it's kind of super light making it uh, put less pressure on the hdmi port on your tv or your projector this they've also included the hdmi extender in the package as well so um it's quite awesome in the sense that if you have like a a difficult or hard to reach place where the fire stick would not be able to fit you can use this to extend the HDMI uh, port you know you plug this the male end into the your TV or whatever display device you have and then the rear hand you plug the fire stick TV into the female side of it and um, yeah that's pretty awesome now let's talk about the remote this year the remote is all new it's different from last year's model we can immediately see that uh, the the Amazon button right there has been changed it's now blue and then we have four preset app buttons we can see the prime video the netflix video disney and amazon music if you opted for the mission accessories then you get the alexa remote cover which you can get in different colors such as the red green magenta blue even glow in the dark now this case offers protection for your alexa remote as i find that the remote is quite slippery and can drop quite often but with this case you kind of get this better grip and when you do drop it it actually has this bouncing effect where it doesn't feel like it's about to break trust me i've actually broken my uh, alexa remote in the past so this would actually be a good option to get another option included with the mission accessories is the mission usb this is basically uh, helps you power your fire stick using the usb port and however i found out that i was able to power my fire stick 4k max with the usb port on the back of my tv however some tvs do have problems with being able to provide enough power via usb if that's the case then you might be able to use this to actually solve that problem as it does store up excess energy and then releases the excess uh, electricity when it's not in use all right so i'm going to go ahead and set up the all new fire stick 4k max i'm going to be using it today with my projector it is the benq ht 3550i and it's a 4k and uh, this is pretty much how i use or where i watch all of my uh, or stream all of my media so let's go ahead and uh, power it right up all right, now we're on the initialization screen. This is the first screen that comes up once you plug the fire stick. So we're gonna run through the process. So uh, I think the first thing's first, we're gonna grab the remote. It's kind of a little bit dark right now, but so I'm gonna push the play button and select that. Now it's gonna scan for Wi-Fi. So one of the biggest thing with this is, is the fact that it uh, 
actually is a Wi-Fi 6. So luckily for me, I do have a Wi-Fi 6 enabled uh, network connection. So I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi 6 uh, network. So now we're gonna let it connect. I do have a separate uh, IoT network set up for my uh, IoT devices. So it's separate from my main network. So connection setup is complete. So it's gonna just run it through the software updates now. We're just gonna give it a couple of minutes to download the latest software. All right, while the software update runs there, let's quickly talk about the specification of this Fire Stick 4K Max. Now, this Fire Stick 4K Max is equipped with eight gig of storage and two gig of RAM, as well as a 1.8 gigahertz uh, CPU and um, 750 millihertz um, GPU. It is powered by the MediaTek chipset. For the audio, the Fire TV 4K supports Dolby Atmos 7.1 surround sound, two channel stereo and the HDMI pass through up to 5.1, which is only available on contents that support Dolby Atmos of course. On the video side, it supports Dolby Vision, which is basically a standard for brightness, contrast and color, but it's only available on contents that do support Dolby Vision, which can be found on Netflix. It also supports HDR10, HDR10 Plus, h265 and h264 but your tv and or projector display media has to support that as well for connectivity the fire tv now supports wi-fi 6 which allows for faster internet connectivity speeds for enhanced streaming and gaming experience on the gaming platform lumnia it also supports bluetooth 5.0 for superb connectivity to multiple devices like using the echo studio for surround sound you can use the Echo Studio, Echo 3rd and 4th generation, Echo Plus 2nd gen and uh, Echo Dot 4th gen as speakers for the Fire Stick. All right, now the installation is complete. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sign into my Amazon account. So now we can see that it actually realizes that uh, I do have the I do have the Fire Stick 4K previous generation and it's able to you know look at the configuration and see if it's asking me if it wants if I want to restore it. I'm just gonna go ahead and restore it that way I can skip the entire process. So we'll select that and then let it do its thing. So no parental controls. So it's preparing your remote for setup. Okay, let's see. It's it's got a lot of different TVs and different. Pro oh yeah, it does have BenQ on there, so that's pretty awesome. Okay, we're gonna test the audio as well. A user receiver. So now I do have a Samsung five point one. Uh, surround sound system so i'm going to try and see if i can find that in the list the system is a little bit on the older side so let's see if or let's see how robust the database of uh amazon is i mean we could, going through the list we can see that there's a lot of different receivers in there so i'm going to try and find s i just wish there was a way to kind of just type what i'm looking for without having to scroll through but i mean the scroll through process is actually a lot more seamless as well so going through that now i'm going to try that again okay it looks like it works now it controls the volume of my sound my uh, sound system so setup is completed so it's, i guess it's optimizing it for the display now all right, let's start. The, I don't have the Amazon Prime account, so uh, I could as well see if I can start a 30 day trial. All right, welcome to the Fire TV. It says easily navigate with main menu. So it's basically just a introduction and um, kind of a walkthrough on how to use it. So we just say, I got it. All right, let's pull up my profile. Immediately, we can kind of notice that uh, it kind of looks pretty much exactly the same as my fire tv 4k the original version of it uh the fire tv os 7 it's running that operating system right now so basically the responsive ui interface and it's kind of, it's pretty much seamless smooth i don't really see any difference so far in terms of uh 
on how it scrolls through it feels pretty much exactly the same as my original fire stick but let's go ahead and um let's test the let's go ahead and see if we can find them um, do a speed test on this thing all right let's go ahead and test the alexa functionality in here so i'm going to try and open up a content on netflix that supports both the dolby atmos and dolby vision um which is altered carbon so i'm going to open it up on netflix using the alexa's uh, command play altered carbon on netflix Another feature of this Fire Stick is it supports picture in picture, which means it doesn't disrupt anything you're watching when there is someone at your doorbell. But it has to be the ring doorbell though. All right, in conclusion, should you get the Fire Stick 4K Max? In my opinion, it depends. If you have an existing 4K, I don't think it's worth the upgrade right now because most of the improvements and upgrades in the 4K Max it's it's very negligible you won't even notice it even with the wi-fi 6 feature on it most people don't have wi-fi 6 uh enabled access point at this point and even if you do wi-fi 6 only you only see significant improvement wi-fi 6 when you have a lot of wi-fi devices on your network and you're starting to experience congestion that is when you're going to see the benefit of wi-fi 6 but when you have the one of one or two or, or three devices that's wi-fi 6 it's not going to be much of a difference you're going to see when you're streaming your content and um if you're in the market for purchasing your very first Fire Stick, I'll say you could as well just get the most recent, when you, especially when it comes to technology, get the most recent thing so that way you don't feel the need to upgrade anytime soon. And that will last you at least for the next three to five years in terms of your streaming stick. So also always make sure, which I'll say wait, wait till when this thing goes on sale. Amazon does occasionally have sales on these items where they have, uh, you know, discounts off. Just keep watching out, checking the Amazon store and kind of keep an eye out for it because it, it would it would go on sale. I can guarantee that and you can pick it up for less than the 75 Canadian uh, dollar right now. Well, at that time when it's on sale. So besides that and the few technical uh, technical upgrades, you know, in terms of the CPU, the GPU, the memory and storage. Those are very very negligible as well i wouldn't go out and upgrade because of those things because you would most likely not even see it most people are not storing anything on the fire stick you're mostly streaming from the cloud anyway so if you are going out there you could go out. if you're going to get a new one get the fire stick 4k max if you have an existing one keep it wait use that thing until it dies before going out there to upgrade or if you really want the latest and the greatest technology like i do go out there sell your old one and then go and add a few extra dollars on top of it and then go get yourself a new one if you're able to sell it of course all right thank you so much for joining me today on this review video and um, i hope you enjoyed it and um, please do leave uh comments on what you think your thoughts in the comment section uh, i love to read and see your thoughts on you know what you think about our content and um do not forget to subscribe and share and i'll see you guys in the next video peace